Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you the ROM that I'm currently running on my Transformer Prime. This is one of my very favorite ROMs. I've tried CM9, I've tried Team EOS, I've tried several ROMs on this device. So far I like Gummy. There's only a few little things that I don't like about this ROM. Just one bug in particular that we'll get to here in a minute. Actually, you know what, I'll go ahead and tell you right up front. The one bug that I, that, uh, I don't like about this ROM, the one thing that kind of ticks me off a little bit, uh, well, I won't say ticks me off, it just kind of annoys me, is whenever you do plug this into your dock and close the dock, the screen doesn't turn on. So if you forget that little fact that it doesn't turn off, uh, that's what I meant, yes, the screen does not turn off uh, without you pressing the button. So if you don't press the button to turn it off whenever it's docked, you end up with a dead battery. And that has happened a few times to me. It does the same thing with CM9. Uh, but we'll go ahead and jump into some of the settings. You see that it is running a very fast launcher here. And you can remove, I guess this is the Apex launcher, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go into uh, the apps here. You see that it does come with DSP Manager. And it also comes with the ROM toolbox. Now that's uh, part of Team Gummy. You can go into the ROM toolbox and get like your updates and whatnot. So if you go pro and you go into, um, let's see, your ROM manager, you can get all the ROMs. See, I don't have any ROMs here because I'm not pro. But if you're pro, anything that comes with, uh, that, that, comes with the ROM toolbox, you'll see those ROMs, you can get your updates to Gummy and whatnot from here, which is pretty cool. And of course it has some other options, reboot recovery, install ROM, wipe options, um, you have your root browser there, which is awesome, and script, terminal emulator, have an ad blocker there, and some other things. So it's cool that it comes with that. Uh, right out of the box. It comes with root browser so you don't have to go into ROM toolbox to get to root browser. It's right there. So that's really cool that that is also included. Um, other than that I'm not seeing anything too different. Uh, we'll go into settings and we'll go down to about tablet. So you see that we are running uh, Android version 4.0.4. This is uh, Gummy TF201 1.2.3 and the kernel version is the uh, Gummy kernel. So we will go into our settings. Where are we at here? Gummy settings. So you do have a few settings. Most importantly, you have your performance settings. This thing comes overclocked at 1800 megahertz. So that was good for some quadrant scores of about 4800. And this thing really does fly. So this is one of the fastest ROMs out. Of course, they also have a governor. And you can go with performance mode, which keeps your tablet at 1800 uh, gigahertz. 1800 megahertz at all times. So if you're playing some 3D games or whatever and you need that intensive processor speed, you go ahead and set it to performance and you will see no lag at all. There's also a lag free. So if you go to lag free, uh, you'll see that um, it's going to keep your, let's see, it's going to keep your CPU up there pretty high for the most part. And I'm just going to go back to um, concert. I'm going to go back to interactive. So if we go back to gummy settings, you have general UI settings. You can enable the 180 degree rotation. So if you rotate your tablet, it'll follow you wherever you go, which is really cool when you're on a tablet. You need that functionality, absolutely. And you have the status bar brightness slider. which, let's see, you should be able just to grab the bar and slide for brightness. I'm not certain how that works on the tablet. I guess this is it. There it is. You can turn the boot animation on and off. Now, it's too bad that you can't do that on first boot, because when I flashed this ROM on my Transformer Prime, it was actually at about 12.30 in the morning. I was up late had the sniffles, I couldn't go to sleep, so I said I might as well flash the gummy ROM. It's what I did, and I was laying in bed next to my wife. She's sound asleep. I turn on the tablet for the first time, and that annoying Nyan Cat boot animation, it's funny, but it's annoying, and it comes on, and it is just screaming loud, because I had my, um, 
volume up all the way or whatever. So it's screaming loud. It's just incredibly loud. And my wife wakes up. She's ticked off. She's like, what are you doing? Flashing ROMs at 1230. So uh, thanks, KJR. You got me in trouble. Uh, but one thing you can do after first boot, I would suggest that you flash this thing during the day. You can disable the sound. Or see, let's see, if it's unchecked, it's disabled. If it's checked, it's enabled. So you can turn the sound off. Okay, so uh, if we go back to our settings, we go on to the system UI tweaks. Uh, this is where you can change your status bar color. All kinds of customization with this ROM. And uh, you will just set that. Let's see. Status bar color. Pick a color, set it. Oh my gosh! I know I'm doing this incorrectly, right? So we pick the color and press on color to apply. Bam! Oh, it should have applied. Oh, it, ha it has applied. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is what we're changing the color of. I was thinking this whole entire bar was going to change. That seems like that is a setting. Status bar color. There we go. Maybe that's it. Here, we'll change it to something crazy so we can see if it changes. No? Status bar color, change, no, okay. Hmm, that's weird. One of you guys leave me a comment to tell me what I did wrong there. Notification transparency can be set here as well. You can change your battery type. And let's go with the, the gummy fat battery. Or I have used battery text on. So if I go to... The fat battery, that should show up, right? Hello. There it is. We'll go back to use. Ah, somehow it's like a step behind. There we go. Okay, you can add a battery bar here for like the My UI battery bar. Soft key settings. You can change the navigation bar color. Like so, change the menu location, you can change the button glow animation, and you can change the transparency, and also the long press home action, you can change that as well. Lock screen styles, um, you can enable the custom apps, and then you can choose your apps. Any of these apps you can choose and change those up to six apps. Themes. Uh, so these are some really cool themes that you can change on the fly. This is the theme chooser. Of course, you can download any theme from the market that goes with CM9, and it will work. So if I go ahead and apply this, it's going to change everything to green. All my framework and everything will turn green. Uh, as you can see, all my framework is now green. And my clock and my battery, everything is turned green. So if we go back to themes, we'll go back to the stock theme and apply that. And it all goes back to uh, the way that I had set it. So there's some device specific mods here. Um, the dock keyboard layout, we can change that depending on what country we live in. And the CPU mode switch, we can change that as well. So that is pretty much all of Gummy. And there's like a ton of stuff there, right? And it is super fast. Battery life seems to be above average for me, um, and it runs crazy fast. And uh, let's go ahead and reboot this bad boy so you guys can see the boot animation. Of course, to flash this ROM, you'll need to grab the ROM from the link in the description, and you're, you'll need to wipe data, wipe cache, and wipe Dalvik cache. Then you'll flash the ROM and reboot the system with your custom recovery installed. So we'll go ahead and power off. No, we'll just reboot. Okay, and then you guys can see the Nyan cat boot animation that woke my wife up. Poor thing. So here we go. Okay, if you guys have not seen the Nyan cat on YouTube, it's got like 70 million views. And there's also a very funny video on YouTube. It is called Old People React to Nyan Cat. You'll want to check that out. It's hilarious. Anyhow, in case you were wondering, this is not something that KJR and Team Gummy uh, ROM have invented. It's something that they took off of the web. It's a meme. But anyhow, guys, this has been the Gummy ROM. 
And you check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. And uh, let's see here. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe right here. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also, be sure to leave your comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.